This is Volkswagen's brand new California XXL. It was revealed to the public here at Stuttgart in August 2017 and so far it is available nowhere. When will it hit the dealers? I don't know. Let's tell you something about it. It claims to have a generous sense of spaciousness with a panoramic sunroof. You can see the panoramic sunroof up there. It claims to have comfort for four people. Ambient lighting concept interactively controllable. An innovative, innovative wet room and best in the class in aerodynamics and a state-of-the-art assistance for drivers. Let's have a look around the outside. Now, I've got to apologise for the uh, background noise, which is unfortunately due to the total unprofessionalism of uh, Messe Dusseldorf, which doesn't allow people to come in when there's no one around. You can only actually come in and film things when there's other people to bother you. And I've made complaint after complaint, and it doesn't seem to get anywhere. So don't complain at me, complain at the authorities here in Dusseldorf. But, and don't complain to Volkswagen because it certainly isn't their fault either. So, having got the apologies out of the way and you know the reason why this is happening, I'm now going to try and get inside the van. So let's hope that it is open. Now, the first thing that we see is the concept of light even without going into the van. Now, most of us have grown up with the Volkswagen campers. When I say grown up, I mean grown up in the camper van world. We started off with something similar to a VW camper. In my case, it was a Carthago Malibu camper, but for other people, something similar, I'm certain. Now, got here. First thing you see, you've got an enormous table. So they say comfort for four people. Well, there's certainly seating comfort for four people. Look at that fantastic roof! Now, the first thing I, of course, I'm thinking is where we're we going to put the solar. But with that roof, isn't that amazing? Now, what if Volkswagen came up with an energy solution other than solar? Now, wouldn't that be a good idea? I wonder where they're going to get one of them from. You know, I know somebody who is currently ripping out everything from his camper van and he's putting 230 volt in everything. And perhaps he has a solution. But perhaps his solution is solar. Well, we'll have to wait and find out about that one. Let's get back to this van here. These wonderful colours. It is so bright. Have you ever seen a van like this before? Now, new vans come out all the time, but I mean, this one has really impressed me. I admit I haven't been in here. I, the first time I opened the door was just now. Right, okay, let's see if we can get in the toilet. We can't. Oh well, we'll have to leave the toilet to another time. Not to worry. Right, okay, let's get back to the table couple of useful features there, plugs and a USB point. Very useful with the computer. Of course that will only work on hookup, I need to point that out quite clearly. Oh, there's a clever place for some coffee up there. Have they built a machine in there? That is my question. It certainly looks that way with the uh, decision there to how you want it. Do you want two cups, you want one cup? Brilliant. And there's the roof up there, sleeping arrangements. You know, it would get a little bit hot in summer up there. But I can see it can open the roof as well, so you at least be able to breathe. You know, with these, some of these cab over, the older cab over ones, they get very stuffy, apparently. I've never actually slept in one myself. I'm just, uh, that's what I'm told. Now, let's have a look at the storage as well. All this storage down here. Now, oh, right like at home, a, a bin under the sink. And what a wide and deep sink it is. Come down here, I think that's meant to be the kitchen, no, the fridge down here, or somewhere down here would be the fridge. 
possibly haven't put one in yet. Not to worry, it's only an experimental model. You don't have to have everything already done. Now, what about this here for a table extension? An extension to the workplace while you're, you're cooking. You've got this, this here. That's a good idea. More electric points. That's four electric points so far. But that's not the end of it. That makes it six, and that makes it eight. Now I know we all complain a lack of electric points. Well, VW has obviously listened and has given us more. What about up here? Well, it's an experimental model. I haven't worked out how to open that one. Never mind. We won't do that yet. So, and if you don't want this as an extension to the workplace, you can cover the sink with it. I'm sure that is meant to go down, and this comes across. That's my opinion. Maybe I am wrong. Well, I'm pretty impressed by this, to be quite honest. I wasn't expecting it to look like this. As I often companies say they've got something brand new, and when it comes to it, it's just the same as everything else. But this looks very impressive indeed. There's your fridge. How about that? That's a good one. Well, oh, I like this. It's pretty good. Will they bring it out? I think so. I think they will. I, I can see people really going for something like this. I'd have to say, actually, it, is, it, wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be for me, but it certainly uh, is something which I would see for many people. Oh, I see there's more people want to get inside, so I shall come out and just show you once more the rear there. See how that goes up there? Now, does that look silly or does it look practical? I've noted in my experience, we often find ourselves in a situation where there's some room at the top, but not at the bottom. There's a fence or something, so you can actually park it. I can't see that actually catching on as an idea, but that is, I think, I think, it, I think it could be useful. Okay, right, they are my first impressions of this VW. That's not really a problem with you, because I don't know enough about it yet. But why, uh, today, I'm going to meet someone from VW, and I'm going to get him to tell me more about it. So, you have to see that video.